One of the central characters in this movie is not a person at all, it's actually a vehicle. The Hawk is also one of the central characters, strangely enough. It's a 1956 Studebaker, gorgeous looking car. We've probably had about 40 different crew members approach us about wanting to be able to purchase the car. I'm not surprised somebody has his eye on the Hawk. Very nice car. I grew up in the 50s, so I'm very aware of that, of that car. It just brought back some memories of, of high school and those boys in high school who had cars and those of us who didn't have cars. It's a little older for my taste. It doesn't have like XM in it and stuff, but uh, I can see how that was a real Playboy car back in the day. I appreciate it all the way down to nut and bolt, like as much original as possible, even to the paint, everything. I love it. They're very expensive, very rare, and very hard to find. I heard about the car. You heard about the car. He heard about the car. We were able to locate this up in Alabama. Then we had to go out and find a match to this car, which was pretty difficult. <laughs> so we ended up locating the second car in Tennessee. Now that one was in a lot worse shape than this. We've gone a long way to get the perfect car and to take care of that car and to rebuild the car ourselves at the cost of a few dollars. The Hawk has some interesting tales. We have one that looks good and maybe runs 50% of the time. The other one that we generally blow up at the end of the movie or crash into a wall. It does hurt you a little that you spent all this time and effort um, to restore these cars and then for them to get totally destroyed. I really love old muscle cars and I don't want to see any car get destroyed, no. It really sucks uh, crashing a really nice car like this. I have to admit I cringed each time the Hawk got hit just because I appreciate classic cars and what it's probably gone through to make it 1956. Yeah, I felt bad about the thing. The car seen better days and it'll probably, it'll probably go right to the junkyard from here. We've been having a little bit of problems with this vehicle from being repeatedly abused tonight. Oh my God, the Hawk? Well, drive is not drive on this. The reverse is down there. I don't know where reverse is. What the hell? Yeah, it's a piece of <laughs> <laughs> The mood here on the set is very tense, especially every time that car dies. <laughs> Jesus. There's a tremendous amount of pressure on a crew to shoot an action sequence all in one night that has so many moving parts. But you really got to have some luck. And luck's not the kind of thing you really want to depend on when you go into shooting a movie. We've uh, had a couple carburetor problems, a couple brake problems. It's been causing us problems all night. I never want to see another Studebaker of that make, model. There's actually no Studebakers ever. We figured out the problem is with the car. What? The alternator ain't alternating. The pistons, they ain't working either. For one scene, the brakes didn't really work. And we're on the seventh floor of a parking garage. Uh, so that, that made for an interesting take. Well, they had told me uh, before to pump the brakes um, because they don't really work that well, and they didn't work at all. It's not stopping. What? Jamie the whole time was like, they're not working, they're not working, they're not working. And they guys go, stop, and I go, brakes, not here. It was pretty fun. Well, in hindsight, it's funny. At the time, I guess, if, we hadn't, if I hadn't been able to turn and we'd gone straight over, we would have died. Thanks. For what? Keeping me alive. Protect and serve, my man. That's the job. We averted going down seven stories. Is it not working? Is it not working? <laughs> yeah. It's not working. It's not working. Because if you hit there, we're going over the ledge. Now we're going to hit there. Oh, we might have survived. Ah, who knows? What a hurt. These cars are old, man. These things happen. That thing is a tank. Right this car has been a nightmare. Fire! Fire! The faster they can crash it, the happier we're going to be. It looks good to me, because I don't have to worry about it no more. It won't ever drive again. I'm glad the car is dead. <laughs> good riddance, talk.
We still have some good pieces left. It's a fine automobile, but it's just a car.